how to sell clothing and shoes on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So let's get started first by explaining the platform for you. So guys, Etsy.com is a platform where you can sell your own products or where you can buy the other sellers products. So for example, as you can see in here, there are a lot of products in this platform and there are a lot of sellers behind these products making a lot of money so let's just check let's choose one of these products to check its page and to show you what you're going to learn in today's video so let's choose this product for example so guys in today's video i'm going to teach you how to create a shop page exactly like this one for your own products how to add the pictures of your product or the video if you have one how to add as many pictures as you have and how to set the price how to add the options or the size how to add the product details as well and the description and the last thing is how to set the shipping and return policies as well so let's start from the first step by closing this page then go to the main page click on the shop manager button in your top right then you will proceed to setting up your Etsy shop and in order to do that you will need to go through six steps the first step is the shop preferences then comes name in your shop then you stack your shop then you choose how you get paid then you set up the variant or the payment processors then you end with the shop security so let's start from the first one which is the shop preferences and here you choose the shop's language the shop's country and the shop's currency so i'm just going to change the shop's currency from the moroccan dirham to the united states dollar then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is choosing a name for your shop so I'm going to choose this name then I'm going to remove this special character and put this instead and here as you can see the name is already taken so you can just choose one of these names or you can add a number in here to make the name special or unique then click on save and continue to proceed to the next step which is stuck in your shop and here you will add some photos and details about your item fill out what you can for now you will be able to edit this later so before guys before proceeding to add, to add in the pictures and the details about the product first click on save and continue to see all of the required fields that we need to fill in order to proceed to the next step and here we have four required fields the first one is photos here you will need to upload at least one photo and the second is inventory you will need to fill the price field then we have the listing details and here you will need to fill all of these read fields and the same thing with the shipping as well you will need to fill all of these read fields so let's start from the first step which is photos and here add as many as you can so where you can see every detail use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities and for some tips use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used show it against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so where you can see all the options then we have the video bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video it could help you drive more sales the video won't feature sound so let your product do the talking and for some quick tips film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used adjust your settings to record high resolution video aim 1480 pixels or higher crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions and if you want to learn how to make videos that sell you can just click on this link then we have the listing details so here you tell the world all about your item and why they love it so we start with the title here enter the title of the product 
Can you answer these three questions? Who made it? You have three options to choose from. I did a member of my shop, another company or person. Let's go with I did. What is it? A finished product or a supply or tool to make things. Let's go with a finished product. When did you make it? You have three categories to choose from. Not yet made, recently or vintage. Let's go with recently. Then we have the category in here. Just type your product's name. And you will have a lot of categories to choose from. Let's go with the first category. And here you will have some additional details to fill. Like this, the primary color of the product. Let's choose gold, for example. We have here the secondary color. Let's go for orange. The size, you can choose a scale in here. Let's say... Let's say US Women's Numeric and here you can type to search for a size. Let's go with one size plus or you can just go for AO for more than one. Here you have the pockets if you have one or no, if your dresses have pockets or no. And here you have the sustainability. You can select up to three elements. Let's go with the first three and that's it then we have the pattern sleeve length neckline hem length silhouette dress style clothing style occasion you can choose all of them in there then we have the holiday you can choose one in here as well and then we have the renewal options you can choose the automatic renewal which costs 20 cents each time or you can go with the manual which is free I'm going to choose the manual, then we have the type of the product, if it's a physical product or a digital product, then we have the description, so here guys, in order to enter a good description, make sure to start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features, shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first, so make it count, not sure what is to say, shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind this item, then we have the production partners, you can choose them in here, you can add them in here, sorry if you have one. Then you have the inventory and pricing, so here you enter the price of your product, then you fill the shipping information as I said in the beginning, then you choose a return and exchange policy, like the 30 days one, or you can choose another one in here, or you can even create your own. So that's it guys for today's video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends.